God damn it, an entire generation pumping gas, waiting tables, slaves with white collars. Advertising has us chasing cars and clothes, working jobs we hate so we can buy shit we don't need. We're the middle children of history, man. No purpose or place. We have no great war, no great depression. Our great war is a spiritual war. Our great depression is our lives. For those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed. The bitterness of men will fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass and dictators die. And the power they took from the people will return to the people. And so long as men die, liberty will never perish. Soldiers, don't give yourselves to brutes. Men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think and what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, use you as cannon fodder. Don't give yourselves to these unnatural men, machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. You are not machines, you are not cattle, you are men. In the 17th chapter of St. Luke it is written, the kingdom of God is within man, not one man, nor a group of men, but in all men, in you, you the people have the power, the power to create machines, the power to create happiness. You the people have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Let us use that power, let us all unite. I see in your eyes the same fear that would take the heart of me. A day may come when the courage of men fails, when we forsake our friends and break all bonds of fellowship. But it is not this day. An hour of wolves and shattered shields when the age of men comes crashing down. But it is not this day. This day we fight by all that you hold dear on this good earth. I bid you stand, men of the West! Society says masculinity is toxic. This is wrong. The absence of masculinity is what's toxic. Weak men are spiteful, manipulative, and self-centered. They give nothing back to society and degrade its foundations. Embodied men, however, are nurturing, integral, and community-centered. Strong, masculine men take responsibility for life and their actions. They seek to nourish and protect what is best and lead others from the heart. Deep down, every single one of us wants to level up. It is the undeniable masculine urge to thrive in strength, connection, purpose, and freedom with comrades. An urge that has been co-opted by modernity. Society wants men to be disconnected, soft, and weak malleable instruments in the hands of others. And as a result, we have been alienated from ourselves and what it means to be a man. Consciously or unconsciously, our system does not support man's flourishing, but his demise. As a result, depression, suicide, and ment mental health disorders are running rampant. Young men choose pleasure over purpose, video games over real world accomplishments, porn and hookups over love, and wind up in meaningless jobs chasing the dollar. They have been emasculated, they have lost themselves. In a recent national survey, survey conducted by Harvard, over 61% of young people between the ages of 18 and 25 reported feeling lonely most of the time. Our young people are hurting, especially the men. But with the pain comes a challenge. Will you be swallowed under the weight of what is, the weight of modernity, or will you be the hero of a new life and culture? In order to return to our roots as men, we must reject the modern sickness and heroically live into what is good and beautiful. We must reject the weakness and confusion that the media propagates, reject the make-believe achievements that society pushes, and reject the lust, greed, and promiscuity of a degenerate age. We must turn our backs on the modern decadence, the rat race, and choose new values, or rather, old ones. 
We must go forth heroically toward a life of strength, health, purpose, and community if we are ever going to rebuild a culture that is worth living in, one that is life-giving to all of its citizens and future generations, if we are to build a system that serves us rather than we slave away in it. There is a woman waiting for the man you are meant to be, a queen who wants to start a family and build a kingdom with you. There's a brotherhood united in vision and values that is awaiting your arrival and contribution. There's a life of abundance, harmony, and freedom that is awaiting your full commit. To be a hero means taking aim at what is true to you, at what is best, and striving forward. It is heroic to cast away the modern confusion and look up toward the ideal. It is heroic to cast away the weakness, the addictions, and all the vices that ensnare you. It may be daunting and seemingly impossible, but the heroic spirit is the life-giving elixir that each one of us and society needs. You, my friends and the men of the West, have the power. Thanks for watching Wisdom Warriors. I'm Christian, and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more videos on philosophy and masculinity. Also, a lot of the script was taken from my new book, The Psychology of Slaying Dragons. It's coming out in two months. You can find it on Amazon. Or if you want to get notified of the launch, you can sign up below uh, for my newsletter and you'll get essays along the way. Thanks for being here. I'll see you at the next video. Peace.